Hey everyone, another uh, equipment autopsy video. Um, this is another uh, reel to reel. I've had this one for quite a long time, it's just been in storage. And I figure since I did that RCA one um, last week, I think, I'll uh, do this one too. So this one's made by Panasonic. It's quite old. It's another like a handheld one, so it's kind of portable ish. Not much to see on the outside. Your speakers are there. Your um, your cord right there. And on the bottom, it's a model RQ-705, made in Japan. So this one, this one does work. So I don't really have to do anything to it. It's, it's a little noisy, but it does work. It's a fairly basic design, not much to it. So you got your tone, your on off, your volumes over here. Uh, short, sorry, that's your on off. That's SP monitor and tone. Uh, you get your usual buttons there. And this one's only a two speed, three and three quarter or seven and a half. Easy Matic button. Uh, record levels. You got your mic, radio, and external speaker. And you've got uh, instant. I can't remember, can't quite remember what the instant does, but it's got it. Um, so I'll just power it up. And I'll, I got some reels to put on it. So just give me a moment. Alright, so I've hooked up a reel I've got. I don't really know what's on it, but uh, there's, there's audio on it. Boater sounds good, very quiet. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but... Yeah. Very quiet. Alright, now this this is old enough that it does have vacuum tubes in it. It's it's old enough that it does have them. It's not solid state. Now we see that's not playing at the right speed, but No. Oh, maybe I will have to do a little uh, work on it. Well good. Better to break down during a video, so uh Gives me more of a reason to open the darn thing up. Let's see. So fast forward works just fine. Lots of torque there. Stop. Oh, I didn't have it pushed all the way. Rewind. That works just fine. Stop. Yeah, brakes work just fine on this. Yeah, uh, three and a quarter is having trouble just doing anything. But uh, seven and a half seems to seems to be working. All right, well, I'll I'll uh, open her up and uh, we'll see just what's going on. See if I can make a repair during the video or not. All right, screws are out. This should just pop right off. I remember correctly. And there we go. So there's your heads, your record, and your uh, reading heads. Oh uh, yeah, this so this has been in storage for a few years, so it hasn't been touched at all. It's all coming back to me now. I do remember to power this one up, you've got to hit both of those switches at the same time. It's I don't know why they do that, but uh, so let me get some tape and I'll um, tape those down. Alright, switches are taped down, so I'm going to turn it back on. So there's your motor. That's what provides all the power. This one is fast forward. 
Now this isn't even a, um, this is not even a rubber belt. It's like made out of like leather or some fabric of some sort. Funny that they use that, but it, it does the trick. There's actually quite a bit of torque there. And you rewind. Again, lots of lots of torque there. No issues with that. But the play, there was something going off the play. So it looks like this here isn't even is it isn't moving far enough forward to actually touch right there. Look, there's actually you can see a gap uh, right there. So something is actually stopping it from moving far enough. That's quite odd. And if I switch to the the higher speed. Now even so even this one is slipping a bit. I might just need a stronger spring. This I had to put a, a better spring on it when I first worked on it, but looks like I might have to change that out. Maybe it's not quite strong enough. Not to mention that this rubber here is uh, pretty much dried out. It feels like plastic now. Look, I stop it. All right, well, I'm gonna stop the video and just investigate this low speed, why it's not even hitting it, and I'll, uh, I'll uh, get back to you on that. Okay, so it was a pretty easy fix. Uh, all I did was replace that spring with a little bit heavier one, and I took a box cutter knife and just kind of skimmed off the outer edge of this rubber. It dries up, it gets really hard, and you, I find if you skim just a little bit off, just a few flakes, it grips better and works much better. So that's what I did. And here's the result. So that's low speed. And there's high speed. I switch back. Works just fine. So you see the spring pulls it, has more tension, so it pulls it in line with that a little better. And there's a lot of tension on that now. So yeah, so whoever recorded this didn't do a very good job of it. And that still works just fine. All right, I'll um, I'll pop this out of its uh, chassis and uh, show you guys everything underneath. All right, screws are out. Kind of cumbersome to uh, maneuver, but whatever. And there we go. So there's your motor, little uh, cooling fan on the back of her. She's a little warm. And you've got your uh, three vacuum tubes in this one? Yeah, three tubes. So you got a 30A5 right here. 
that file there, 30A5. This one here, a 6BL8. This is unplugged for those of you that are wondering. And finally, a shielded 6267. Right down there. I'll, uh, I'll plug it in and I'll power it back up. I'm pretty sure they're all, they're all uh, working since this was putting out um, sound. Uh, which, hold on a second, which one was it? Now that everything's upside down. Yeah, it must be this one. There we go. The motor's a little unhappy about being upside down, but whatever. That one's got a nice glow to it. So does that one. And shielded one there. Yep. They're all glowing. I'm pretty sure I tested these and they were all good. Because your motor's noisy, I'm just going to turn that back off. So yeah, there's actually not much to it mechanically underneath. I mean, there's... That might be your play or fast forward, I'm not sure. That's one of your other ones. That might be rewind. Uh... That's probably play. There's probably a, um... Uh... Actually, I'm not sure. I thought there might be a solenoid that holds this one in. It might be on the uh, top of it. And you got your, you got your main step down transformer right there. And... Actually, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, that must be some kind of um, heat sensor because it's right on the side of the transformer. So if the transformer gets too hot, it probably cuts power off. Would be my guess. Yeah. So your red, the red line here, the bigger of the two, goes around. And goes right into the primary of your transformer. So yeah, that's some kind of high temperature trip for it. circuit board so yeah that's pretty much everything there is to see for this one Panasonic RQ705 reel to reel player so uh, hit the like button if you liked it hit the down button if you didn't subscribe and uh, if you wish to support me on Patreon there should be a link below and uh, thanks for watching, everyone.